darlings welcome to my first ever charlotte tilbury behind the scenes look how to become a charlotte tilbury model as you can see i'm beautiful before and beautiful after of course i am joking guys i'm just joking and i hope that if anyone ever sees this and or if anyone ever sees this of the charlotte tilbury team they know that i'm joking as well i'm just pretending to be charlotte tilbury because she's over the top and i love the way that she represents her brand there's so much passion to it i myself love charlotte tilbury and i've slowly been collecting some of her stuff over the years now i got married a year ago on the 27th of august and that's the reason I wanted to wear white and I'm also wearing my wedding jewelry. I am gonna scooch in on closer a little bit. And the only reason I didn't scooch in on closer first um, is because I wanted you to see my top and the fact that I was wearing something. I squeezed myself into this dress. I'm way too pregnant for this dress. I look like a sausage roll or some kind of pig in a blanket. But it doesn't matter, it's all about the aesthetics. YouTube is like, we only care about the top, right? Anyway, let's just zoom you in. Can you still see my top or do I look naked? I love the aesthetics of Charlotte Tilbury. I love it when you go to their YouTube. Everything is always how to get a rebel golden green look. How to get a matte makeup look. How to get a rock chick look. Everything is how to. So that inspired me to do a video of how to become a Charlotte Tilbury model. All of them just look flawless and dewy and it's their skin but better. What I like about their products is they're easy to use, they're made for easy use, they're made for mature skin. They're trying to be inclusive. They're not always hitting the nail on the head or the head on the nail or whatever. Maybe some of you are looking at me and going, okay, well, I'm sorry girl, but those are not your real brows. And no, they are not. I'm really enjoying the brow product from Gucci. It's, it's the Gucci Crayon Powder Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Brun. When you actually buy on the website, you get a lot of these testers and I do want to include some because I never use them otherwise and they're actually really great for testing the product. Charlotte Tilbury is not a cheap brand, so make use of these testers, I feel. I know there's a mystery box out there right now and I am a little interested in getting it because I saw that the Light Magic Cream is in there and I have a tester of the Light Magic Cream right here. If I like it, if if the wear time is good or if I feel like it does anything, I might invest in the Charlotte Tilbury mystery box. I'll just buy it today. Charlotte Tilbury always starts with skincare. She usually starts with either her Magic Cream or her Magic Cream Light. I'm more interested in the Magic Cream Light. I saw that the reviews for the Magic Cream was that it's a thick product or a very thick consistency. And I was hoping that the light would be a better option for a combination to oily skin type. I love these little minis, aren't they cute? Okay, I'm just gonna do two pumps, I guess. I'm gonna avoid the eyebrows because I already did the eyebrows. And in between products, I am gonna speed up the video so that this doesn't become a one hour video. So Charlotte Tilbury uses a moisturizer to also kind of prep the skin for makeup. It feels soft on the skin. I don't know what's in this. It definitely feels soft. I do feel glowy. I see why people like this cream. It doesn't have a strong smell, but it does smell like something. It has a 12 month shelf life. And this little sample is five milliliters. I like it. I think I like it. I like the way my skin feels. It's a little tacky, but that's okay. We're gonna put makeup on it. I'm not a foundation girl, but Charlotte Tilbury has a few products that she uses as foundation. Anything from high coverage to light coverage. Of course, I chose the light coverage, which is the Light Wonder. I got mine shade matched in the pandemic. And they told me that I should go for shade number five, which was medium with pink undertones. And I completely did not listen to that because I was like, no. I am usually a neutral undertone girl with beige to yellow undertones. Now, if you don't know this product, you do need to shake it up. You hear a little ball on the inside. I'm just gonna put some on my hand, on the back of my hand. It's very runny, so you can see it run. And you can go in with your fingers or you can go in with a foundation-like brush. I'm gonna go in with a paddle brush first, just to distribute the product because it's so liquidy. And I'll go in with a little buffing brush. It 
So this is half my face done. This is the face with the foundation on, and this is without. But to me, there's a slight difference. Um, of course, there is a little bit of coverage. I went in with four pumps on this side, or pumps. I went in with four drops on this side. I like it to be a little bit more lightweight, but you can build it apparently up to a medium coverage. What else do we see? I think my pores are a little less enhanced. It's still dewy. Um, I know that some people criticize this product not to be for oily skin types, max combination skin types, but I find the wear time to be fine. I have no struggles with this product. I'm gonna go and do the other side of my face and then move on. So this is me with foundation on. What do you think? Again, I'm using only natural lighting. It just evens out the skin tone a little bit. I don't think that the color is a mismatch to my neck. So I'm happy with 4.5 as a shade match. I don't own a Charlotte Tilbury concealer, but I do own the corrector the under eye corrector in the shade fair i like this under eye corrector a lot it's probably the only one that's ever been a success to me and of course my under eyes are a bit of a thing for me i hate the darkness under my eyes i can use this as a product on its own um, but i'm not sure if i will do that today i'll correct one side of my face first and then you'll see the difference now i apply this product with my finger and i do go quite low into it because my circles can go all the way up to the top of my cheeks or all the way down to the top of my cheeks. So maybe you can tell this side has my under eye concealer or my under eye corrector on it and this side has nothing underneath. Isn't that a big difference? Okay, let's do the other eye. So this is the end result of me using the under eye concealer. If you're my skin tone or close to my skin tone, I feel like you can use this product just as a concealer as is. If you're gonna go for the shade after this, there's a huge shade jump and that one is way more orange or way more correcting than this one is. And I don't think you can use this product on its own. But I often just use it on its own. I feel if I wanna just keep to Charlotte Tilbury and the aesthetics, I shouldn't cheat anymore and put any concealer on after this. What do you guys think? What's next? Let's go in with a powder. I feel like if we're doing a wedding tutorial or a wedding inspired tutorial, it's probably best to go in with a newer product, the Instant Look of Love in a palette, Pretty Blushed Beauty. I love this palette. If there was ever a palette that screamed my name, it's probably this one. I'm gonna use the number seven face powder. I think the powder that's in this is described as light to medium. I used to have the medium powder and it looks quite the same. Now what I like about this palette especially, not just the shades, was also because they included this powder in the palette. And it's the only reason I never got the other instant look in the palettes because I'm not big on highlighter and the fact that the highlighter in this palette is small and there's powder in it, yeah, I thought it was good value for money. So this side has been powdered and the other side has not been powdered. Okay, let's powder the under eyes on the other side. So this is my face all powdered. I believe that shades number four and five are actually the highlighter and the 
bronzer there that are also in her infamous, what do you call that, that big thing? I'm having a pregnancy moment. Uh, the Film Star Bronzer. I've never owned it. I've always wanted to own it because there's a huge following, cult following around that product. I'm using an angled brush. I think this is a Morphe brush as well, the E4. Now I've been playing around with this palette. I know it's not their newest launch, but I'm obsessed with it, honestly. I'm retaining a lot of water due to my pregnancy. So I definitely want to do a little extra focus on my lower jaw. So this is the side with bronze and this is the side without. Now I'm a little bit bronze anyway, but yeah, you can definitely tell that there's a difference and it's a beautiful, beautiful powder. I love it. I love this palette. Yeah, let's intensify. So what do you think? Isn't that nice? I love it. I love the fact that the dew is still showing. Like it's still dewy. I'm gonna go back in with my powder brush just because I don't feel like looking for another blush brush. But I'm using the shade number six, the Cheek Pop. I'm gonna wait with the highlighter and I'm still gonna do a little bit contouring on my nose, but let's just do eyeshadows first. So I'm first gonna use the number three shade in the palette and I'm gonna just use it at the end of my eye. I'm then going in with the number two in hand shade. I know that Charlotte Tilbury has a system of one, two, and three. I usually go three, two, one. This one I'm putting all over my lids and I'm going quite high up and I'm blending that in the darker shade. Then I'll take my finger and put it in shade number one. These type of glittery shades are best applied with your finger. I'm putting that right in the center for that Charlotte Tilbury glowing look. Then I'm gonna go in with the highlighter shade for my inner corners. Charlotte Tilbury usually suggests to do what you did on top of the eye, but kind of mimic it on the bottom of the eye. But first, I wanna use an eyeliner to do a little bit of a wing. I have the shade uh, Copper Charge. It's one of those dual-ended ones. So I'm just gonna do a little baby wing on the side. To tie the look together a little bit, I am gonna contour a little bit of my nose area. So I'm gonna go back in number four, face bronze. You can go into the crease a little bit just to tie it all together. Let's mimic the same style on your eyes and move on to the other eye. This is actually my eye look all done. These are the three shades used and the highlighter for the inner corners. I love it, it's simple, it's easy to use, it's user-friendly, beautiful colors, good for fair to light complexions like mine. I tried to do the swatches in order from one to seven. So let's start with the beginning. I know it's a bit of a wonky swatch, but that's also because I have a bit of a wonky arm. I'm swatching like this, of course, and the moment I turn it around, there's a kink. So let's start at the beginning. The first one, this, is shade number one it's the eyeshadow and it's so beautiful glittery shade number two eyeshadow and shade number three to deepen out the crease this is shade number four which is the bronze that i have on right now the highlighter the blush and i have no idea if you can tell my hairy arms but you shouldn't be able to tell it's hard to see um, the face powder. This is the Copper Charge eyeliner that I used. 
and all together it makes for a pretty solid palette one i can definitely recommend i'm using the mini legendary lashes volume 2 for my mascara if ever these minis are available and you want to try one it's a good free product to have because these minis last me a long time so i got a little cocky and i really want to put on lashes because i was like okay i'm feeling myself i'm loving the look i'm feeling like a bride but those lashes were the death of me i'm not starting this look over again i forgot that they had a black band on there i don't know why i forgot because you could just see that maybe i don't know i'm chucking everything under pregnancy brain anyway if you think the lashes are a little wonky don't worry i think so too <laughs> But um, yeah, I put on some lashes. I think these are Magugu lashes. I got them from Yestel, so Korean. I don't wear lashes that often, only maybe on the night in the town and I know I have a lot of time. So I don't know why I decided to put on lashes for this tutorial, I guess. I was just feeling myself a lot, but yeah. This is me with lashes on. Anyway, let's move on to lips. I have a few lip products that I own from Charlotte Tilbury, mostly in the Pillow Talk color because I surprisingly really love that line. I thought it may be overrated, but then uh, I ended up with one, two, three, four Pillow Talk items. I have the Pillow Talk lip liner, which is this one, the third shade. I have the Matte Revolution Pillow Talk, the original, the OG. I have, I don't know what this is called, like the lip gloss version. I'll put it down below what the actual name is. It's very pigmented, so these are all Pillow Talks. And I have the latest one, which is a Pillow Talk, I don't know what this is, like lip balm. I love this as well. Then on top, I have Stoned Rose in the Kissing Formula, and of course, Iconic Nude Lip Liner. Now for this look, I think that the Kissing Formula and the Iconic Nude Lip Liner is the best combination to go for, so. This is what I say about this lip liner. Get on the hype train with me. I know it's Iconic Nude. I know it's been reviewed over and over and over again, but I totally understand. It's my lips, but better, but even better. Get on it, get on that hype train. Now I have a mini stoned rose, kissing formula one. Again, these minis are not only adorable, but great if you can get one as a sample because these samples last me forever. I will get the bigger version of this. I love this combination. I usually add a gloss over it. The gloss I usually add is the original Fenty Gloss Balm. However, I do have a enriched collagen lip bath pumping effect thingy in Refresh Rose. And I figure why the hell not? This is just a little MAC lip brush. I'm meshing the colors together. I'm not done yet. I'm going to go in with a highlighter, going back into the face palette, number five. A little bit on the nose and the bridge. A little bit on the chin and the forehead, but only a tiny bit. And of course, to set it all in place, I have the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this setting spray. It's so good. I, of course, have to get the White Tea of Bali scent. I am part... Indonesian. My mom is Indonesian and Bali is one of my go-to destinations to feel like I am home. So guys, this is the look. What do you guys think? Am I, am I, I don't know, am I a Charlotte Tilbury model? Oh my God. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed my take on charlotte tilbury i know that there are a lot of these out there i will be reviewing charlotte tilbury on this channel i'm excited for the new launches i'm definitely buying the cryo eye serum and maybe also the cryo mask i'm interested in just you know preserving my body as best as i can i'm also interested in the 90s theme i'm not sure if i'll get the eyeshadow palette but i am interested in getting the face palette the eyeliner and maybe the lippies i love the kissing formula that's my favorite lip formula of them so if there's a kissing formula one out there i'll probably get that one maybe combine it with a new lip liner if they have one yeah but that's actually my review i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it 
I hope you feel like I did Charlotte Tilbury justice. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm definitely feeling myself. It's pricey. It's not for the everyday woman that is on a budget. I consider myself the everyday woman. I do like to splurge. Makeup is one of my only hobbies that I have. I don't think it's a good idea to go bankrupt on makeup. So please, if you love the products, start slow. If I had to recommend anything to anyone, um, I would recommend the face palette especially this one because it has the powder, it has a blush, it has a bronzer. It's sort of a starter kit if you wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury from, you know, scratch and you don't know where to start. It has some of the most iconic shades in there for face and it just has a really nice simple eye. It's simple for every day. So I would definitely start with a face palette like this one. Other things I would definitely recommend are the under eye corrector is actually a good investment. It takes me a while to finish. And it's the best under eye corrector that I have ever used. Lastly, I would recommend a good lip liner. The Iconic Nude one is a really good one. And just pair it with any type of lip gloss. So just a lip liner and put on a lip gloss on top of it. It doesn't have to be Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. The Fenty one is a really nice addition to the Iconic Nude lip. And those are my main recommendations for Charlotte Tilbury. I will be reviewing more luxury products because luxury is actually where my passion is. It's usually Korean skincare or luxury products. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you liked anything about this video. I will always be using timestamps. So in the future when I'm doing Charlotte Tilbury and you are only looking at one product or you only want to see the review of one product, please just look at the review of that one product. I don't care if you use my timestamps and you don't watch my entire video. I'm doing this as a hobby. This is a hobby next to my full-time job. I'm going to be a mom soon. You know, not everybody has the time to watch like a 30 minute tutorial or anything. I love doing these videos. I'm hoping that I can continue YouTube for a longer period of time. So that's another reason to subscribe or comment. I love commenters. I will always comment back because I think I've only had one comment in a few videos that I have on my channel. So please comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for enjoying my video and seeing how I transformed myself into a Charlotte Tilbury glowing model. Bye.